So here I am, Waterbury Murder Mill. Waterbury Murder Mill. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy that we would ever have this happening in the world. Crazy. And second, first of all, it's crazy that we would have abortion, murder, child sacrifice in our day. And the second part of the craziness is that we would have a culture that would tolerate this. I mean, one cannot exist without the other. <clears throat> My sign's moving there. I've come here to crawl out for mercy upon the little babies that are being killed. It doesn't matter where the little child is being killed when it's a newly fertilized egg. Let's see if I can get this to stay somehow. I don't know if I can. Yeah, the wind is too much. Actually, the wind is going this way. Maybe, maybe this way. We'll try that a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'll stand over here. It's where some other people have stood. So the Bible says, Thou shalt not murder. And that law applies to all human beings. And the Bible does not have partiality of which human beings can and cannot be slaughtered. Because all human beings are created in the image of God. Every human being is created in the image of God. And to kill them is murder. is murder. Planned Parenthood exists for the purpose of carrying out child sacrifice. <coughs> this place exists because we live in a culture in a country that endorses the murder of innocent babies. It's not until the church wakes up, it's not until pastors wake up, it's not until Christians wake up and call this what it is. <coughs> it's child sacrifice. That's what this is. People come here in order to take the life of their unborn babies.
But just like the death camps in Nazi Germany, this is a death camp of unborn babies. Just like they had places all throughout Germany where they exterminated, where they killed little human beings, this place here, when we look back on history, we will know and understand that babies are murdered in this place. That's what Planned Parenthood is all about. Because that little baby, all little babies are created in the image of God. Every little baby that is conceived, that fertile egg, is made in the image of God and therefore is worthy to have equal protection and equal justice under the law. And if you take that life, you are taking the life of a human being. And that is called murder. That's why my sign says, babies are murdered here. I don't know why you're here, but I don't know why you would ever use Planned Parenthood in the first place. Too bad. No. Too bad. But when you take the life of a human being, it's murder. Doesn't matter whether it's a single cell, doesn't matter if it's up to birth or after birth. When you take a human life, it's murder, and the Bible says, thou shalt not murder. But the Bible also offers forgiveness for those who commit genocide, for those who commit child sacrifice. There's forgiveness in Jesus Christ. It's not a sin that cannot be forgiven. For all who repent and turn to Jesus Christ, you should not be using Planned Parenthood for any purposes. Planned Parenthood is all about the extermination of human beings. It's just like Auschwitz. It's just like a death camp in Nazi Germany. That's what this place is all about. And if you could kill your own offspring, then your heart is hard. Because if that's what you have in mind or what you did, if you have it in mind, I tell you, don't do it. Because you stand before God Almighty, if you participate in it in any way. But God can forgive you through Jesus Christ. You will stand before God someday for working in a place like this or going in a place like this. So I'm on the side of babies. I'm calling out for the babies, the little ones who can't cry out themselves. Those little babies that are being killed by Planned Parenthood, being killed by mothers. Mothers who kill their babies are murderers. It's as simple as that. That's the harsh reality. They try to tell you that it's not murder, but it is. Planned Parenthood just wants your money. Planned Parenthood just wants to sacrifice little innocent babies. Planned Parenthood is a death camp. God Almighty of the universe said thou shalt not murder and when you take the life of an innocent baby you have committed murder. That's why I have the sign babies are murdered here. The Bible says that all, all human beings What are you talking? What are you talking about? But you have no heart about babies being murdered? It's not yapping, it's preaching. Babies are being murdered here, sir. And what are you doing about it? Little babies are being killed here. 
Little babies are being murdered here. What's that? What an idiot. I'm sorry. Sir, you got a problem. You got a serious problem. Little babies are being murdered here. And you need to repent of your sin before God Almighty. They kill babies here. Of course they do. The pill, the pills, pills kill it. Yeah, they do. Do they hand out abortion pills, sir? You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know. Look at this sign. Taking a pill, taking a pill to end the birth is abortion. This is for aborting babies. And you have a hard heart, sir, and you will stand before God someday. You will stand before God someday for your hard heart. And I call you to repent. I call you to repent in the name of Christ. So I'm going to stand here. I'm not going to talk with you anymore. See that? See that, sir? See that? That's what you're all about? Yeah. Ah, you're a fool, sir. No, I am. I am a fool for Christ. You know, you need to repent of your sin because you're going to go to hell if you don't repent of your sin. It's but you know what? I'm not going to bother with you anymore. I'm going to talk to these ladies who are calling their babies and killing their babies. What's that? So, come on. Come on. Walk away. I'm not walking away. I'm standing up for the lives of these unborn babies. I'm going to preach Christ. And there's nothing you can do about it because these little babies are being murdered in Planned Parenthood. I tell you, it's murder to kill your baby. It's murder in the name of Jesus Christ. It's murder to take the life of your innocent baby, be it with a pill. Why are you supporting a place that kills babies? Planned Parenthood is all about the murder of babies. Go to someplace else. Don't support this place. This place is all about murder. There's other places to go if you need help. The Planned Parenthood is not one of them. Planned Parenthood is a cesspool of murder. And they hand out pills. Anybody who takes a pill with no malice and a forethought is a murderer. But you see, God can forgive you in Christ. There is forgiveness in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. You see, the love of God has been poured out towards us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Taking a pill or helping somebody murder their baby by taking pills is still murder. And God says, thou shalt not murder. It's murder in his eyes. So I'm here calling out for the lives of little babies and confronting you with the reality. The reality is that when you take the life of an innocent baby, you have committed the sin of murder. But even the sin of murder can be forgiven by Jesus Christ, by the blood of Christ upon the cross. Every human being that is conceived is conceived in the image of God. And the Bible says that children are a blessing from God. I got five kids. I got five children. I got three grandchildren. And they're the greatest blessing of my life. Because children are a blessing from God. And Planned Parenthood 
In the culture of death would try to make you think that children are an inconvenience. I tell you, God can and will provide. God provides. But you have to look for Him and look to Him for the provision. Repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ. Because if you're not in Christ, God cannot and will not hear your prayers. You cry out to God, He won't hear you if you don't come to Him in humility and repentance. Planned Parenthood is a racist organization started by Margaret Sanger for eugenics to kill as many black and brown babies, but they, she didn't care. She's happy to kill as many babies as possible. People don't like what I have to say because you know I'm right. You know that I'm right. You know that killing babies is murder before God. It's just like you would like your life protected, so we call for the protection of innocent little babies in the womb. Innocent little babies in the womb. You see, the most dangerous place in the United States of America is not in the streets of New York City or Chicago or Detroit. The most dangerous place in America is inside of a woman's womb. Over 100 million babies have been sacrificed on the altar of convenience. Over a hundred million babies. Over a hundred million babies have been sacrificed in the United States of America. Because abortion is murder. It's a sin in God's eyes. And anyone who takes the life of an innocent baby has partic partaken in the sin of murder. It's blood guilt. The Bible says that all human beings, regardless of the color of their skin or their age or stage of development, is made in the image of God. Jesus Christ you know that song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves the little children. That's what the Bible says. Jesus said, let the little children come unto me and do not hinder them, for to such belong the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ loves little babies, be they one cell zygotes, be they embryos, be they a fetus, it doesn't matter, Jesus Christ loves the little children. All the little children of the world. And that's why he sends me out here to cry out for mercy to cry out for mercy upon these little innocent babies. What did they do? What did they do to deserve death? Nothing. And yet there's fools in this world who are per perfectly fine with child sacrifice. Because that's what abortion is. Abortion is child sacrifice, pure and simple. And when you take the life of an innocent baby, you are sacrificing that baby on the altar of convenience. 
And so God does not allow there to be child sacrifice. God calls there to be mercy. The Bible says establish justice to cry out for the lives of these little innocent babies. And so that's what I'm doing, calling out for the lives of these little innocent babies and calling anyone using a Planned Parenthood for any reason to repent. Read the sign. Look at the sign. This is what Planned Parenthood's all about. Look it. She won't look because she's afraid to face the truth. The truth is, when you take a pill to terminate a baby is malice, is murder with malice aforethought. To take a pill to terminate a baby is murder with malice aforethought. That's the reality. No, sir, I will not. I will not go home. See, they want you to go home. They want you to go home because they feel guilty. They want you to go home because they know that abortion is murder. They want me to go home, but I'm not going home. I'm standing right here calling out for the lives of unborn babies. And I won't be silent either. Because silence is complicity. And too many Christians are silent when it comes to child sacrifice and abortion. Too many Christians, by their apathy, God bless, no, it's murder! Health care. Health care for what? Not for the little babies. It's not health care for babies. It's murder. It's murder. It's murder in the first degree. It kills babies. <clears throat> Y'all want me to go home because you don't want to know and be pricked by your own conscience because your conscience knows deep inside that abortion is murder. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your hearts. And Planned Parenthood is a place where they distribute pills to murder innocent babies. That's what Planned Parenthood is all about. It's about the murder of innocent babies. Be it little zygotes, be it embryos, be it a fetus, those are all human beings. They are all human lives. And so you want me to be quiet because you don't want to hear the truth and the truth of your conscience. And the truth of your conscience tells you that what I'm saying is true, that abortion is murder. It is the taking of an innocent human life. So that when people take the lives of innocent babies, they're committing the sin of murder. What do you think, sir? You agree? It is murder. Amen. It's a very serious and sad thing. What do you think, sir? I do, actually. All right. Hold on one second.
So what do you think? Do you think abortion is murder? I'm from the Connecticut Foundation to abolish abortion. Is this for you? No, no, no. Well, it depends. What do you, what's it depend on? It depends. On what? Why? Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. Why? Because nobody's listening to you. Yeah, they are. You did. You don't know how I think, though. Yeah? I'm asking you how do you think. Do you think abortion... Do you think that abortion is the taking of an innocent human life? After a certain amount of time. You don't think it's a human being right from the start? No. What is it? Uh, I have no idea. I do. Right from the moment of fertilization, that's a human being. No, not at all. Abortion will be abolished. So why would you think that this, why do you think we should take human life? Let's see if you can defend your position, if you thought it through. Well, less people to feed. Well, less people? Well, what if they kill you to have less people to feed? They want to kill huh? Me. What's that? They should try and come and kill me. What's that? No. I'm ready. Yeah, you are, but the babies are not. I'm ready. The babies are not ready. I'm ready. Don't you see? These little babies can't defend themselves. Exactly, you can defend yourself. Exactly, but these little babies, they can't defend themselves. So somebody, you could stick up for yourself, but who's sticking up for the babies? I am. I stick up for the babies. You are a coward because you will not stand up for innocent babies. Abortion will be abolished, sir. It will be abolished, it's a sin before God. It's a sin before God. So go ahead and run. Go ahead and run. You couldn't even argue your position. You couldn't even argue. He couldn't even hold his own. Couldn't even hold his own. And he runs, and he runs because he knows. He runs because he knows that abortion is murder. He doesn't even know when life begins, human life begins. I mean, it's the same ridiculous, foolish, absolutely foolish things that people think and people say. He's like, let him come and try to, to uh, take my life. I'll defend myself. That's the whole point. Is that little babies cannot defend themselves. Little babies cannot defend themselves. They can't stop somebody from murdering them. At least, at least we as full grown adults can try to defend ourselves, but that's what makes little babies vulnerable. That's what makes them the most vulnerable of all. Because they cannot stand up for themselves. They cannot protect themselves. And the mother whom God has placed that child in, inside of, that mother should be protecting that baby. I mean, even the animal kingdom protects them. Why do they think they call them mama bears? Mama bears are, if you come near my cub, she'll rip your throat out. But human beings, they bring their little babies to slaughterhouses like this, where, where women take pills to take the lives of innocent babies. What do you think, sir? Think abortion's murder? Uh, you, well, you should be standing for your unborn neighbors. Little babies are human beings, and if you don't stand up for them, well, I will. Because I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. Because I have Christ. When you have Christ, why would you need to be a coward? What can a man do to you? That's what the Bible says. What can man do to me? Nothing. 
nothing whatsoever. Man can do nothing to me. To take the life of a Christian is just to send them off to heaven. To be absent in the body is to be present in the Lord. That's vulgar. What a what a what a nasty woman. Make up silly comments. Abortion is murder. But there's forgiveness in Jesus Christ. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And if you don't want this done to you, why would you allow or stand by while little babies are being killed? Lord have mercy. <coughs> How you doing, sir? Doing good. What do you think? You think abortion is murder? You know, they treat little babies like they're litter. They just uh, kill them and throw them away. Very complicated issue. Yeah. How, how is it complicated? Well, if your daughter is raped. Th that would be terrible. Rape. Yep. I want to kill the baby. You want, you want the baby? You want her to kill why, why would you kill the baby for the sin of a man? My daughter's sanity. My daughter's sanity. No. We're not women. Two, two, wrongs, no. two wrongs don't make a right. Case, Not at all. Why would you execute the child when a person sinned against another person? Means that much to me. What about your granddaughter? There. What about your grandchild? There. What about your grandchild? You don't care about your grandchildren? That's that would be your great. Of course it would be. Of course it would be your grandchild. Sir, of course, genetically that would be your grandchild. Scientifically, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you would advocate the murder of your grandchild because of some creep. You don't care about your granddaughter. Don't care about your daughter. You don't care about your granddaughter. Of course I do, because you know what? When somebody kills an innocent baby, two evils, that, that rapist should be executed. But that baby should not pay for the sins of the father. Well, it's not at all. There are people all over the place that are products of rape, and they still, they function, should we kill all the people that have been products of rape? No, that's murder, it's sir. Difficult. That's still murder. It's not difficult. It's simple. Thou shalt not murder. How hard is that? What's that? Life is rarely white black. Why not? How? All good. Really? Human life? Like what human being should be executed? What, what innocent human being should be executed? What innocent human being should we kill? Uh, yeah, yeah, the baby is innocent. So why execute the baby? Kill, kill, kill the, kill the rapist, but don't kill the baby. You'd kill your own grandchild. Golly, of course it's, what is it? It's not a baby? What is it? Is it a monkey? Is it a dog? Oh, come on, sir, you, you're smarter than that with gray hair. You know it's murder. You know it's murder. It's not a monkey life or a dog life, it's a human life. So you go on record that you would stand by the execution of your own grandchild. You would stand by with the execution of your own grandchild. 
which would probably further traumatize your daughter if she was raped. I got, I have three daughters. And if any one of my daughters was ever raped, that would be a horrific thing. But I would stand by her and I would not add insult to injury by killing that innocent baby. I would never kill any of my grandchildren. Never. Never. I'd never kill any of my grandchildren. In fact, I wouldn't kill any other human being, whether it's my grandchild or not. So much for grandpa standing up for the grandkids. You'd have them slaughtered. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Wow. Rape is a terrible thing. And the person who perpet perpetrates rape, if, if tried and found guilty, should be executed. I have no doubt in my mind of that. But that little innocent baby should not be executed because of the sin of a wicked father. And there are human beings right now, all throughout the world, they're the products of rape. We're not going to execute them. Because they're human beings. What a murderous, murderous culture. Thou shalt not murder. That's what the Bible says. Thou shalt not murder. <coughs> And Planned Parenthood is all about murder. That's why it exists. Thou shalt not murder is absolutely God's law. Don't go in there. They murder babies. It's like going into Auschwitz and killing Jews. It's murder before God. It's murder before God. There goes murder grandpa that would murder his own grandchild. What a sick man. What a sick man. What a sick man. That's the culture we live in. It's relativism. You make up your, your own laws. You make up your own morality as you go along. Until all of a sudden it bites you. Until all of a sudden the morality turns on you and that boy, I'll tell you, they'll be calling bloody murder in two seconds flat. In two seconds flat. Just like that man, oh, let him come for me. Well, the little baby doesn't have that option to protect itself in himself or herself. That's the reality. And that's the murderous culture that we live in. Very, very, very sad.
Norman Patterson here. I'm the uh, head and founder of the Connecticut Foundation to Abolish Abortion. There's a bunch of us really fine men and women, young men, and uh, I'm outside of the Waterbury Planned Parenthood calling out for the lives of babies. You know, you, adults can protect themselves. I had a man walk by, actually he stopped and he asked for some literature and he just kind of mocked me a little bit and uh, said that, I said, how'd you like if somebody wants to murder you? And he says, let them come and try. It's like, well, little babies can't do that. Little babies cannot protect themselves. And that's the difference. How you doing, sir? Do you think abortion's murder? You don't know. It's very simple. It's a human life and they take their life. It's murder. Very simple. Everybody says it's complicated. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. Innocent human beings should not be executed. Should not be put to death, should not be murdered. So anyways, this guy's like, well, I say, how'd you like it if somebody came and tried to murder you? Well, let him try. Oh, wait, well, I'll let him try. Well, you know what? He's a full-grown man. He could get a gun. He could do whatever it is that he wants. Try to protect himself. But these little innocent babies can't protect themselves. These little innocent babies are vulnerable. They are the most vulnerable of all human beings. And so, you know, just like the Darwin uh, view of uh, survival of the fittest, you know, that's what's happening. We just dominate those little babies and kill them at random and at will. Child sacrifice so that we could have a convenient life. Then another man said, you know, I said, hey, you, uh, is abortion murder? Well, it's complicated. I said, well, how's it complicated? Well, if my daughter got raped, then I would be all for um, the baby being, the abortion. And I said, so you would, you would kill that little innocent baby because of the sin of some evil, wicked man? Yep, because it would put my daughter through so much trauma. Well, you don't think that killing her baby is going to put her through trauma? I mean, she has already gone through a horrific event of being raped, and now she's pregnant, and you're going to put her through the, the, the trauma. And there's trauma in abortion. There's trauma in abortion. This is one of the things that nobody really wants to talk about. Nobody really wants to talk about all the trauma that women go through in aborting their babies. They go through a tremendous, a, lot, a tremendous amount of psychological trauma. And a lot of times it turns them into hard-hearted uh, women who will just yell and scream in your face and you know, say that you hate women because you make them feel guilty. So I said to the man, I said, so you would advocate the murder of your own grandchild And he said, yep. He said he would. I said, you're grandpa, and you would advocate the murder of your own granddaughter. He says, well, I love my daughter. Well, why don't you love your granddaughter? Why don't you love your grandson? But you see, I asked him if he could be consistent. People cannot, cannot think. People cannot think. They, they, they think with depraved minds because they don't want the truth. They suppress the truth in unrighteousness. And that's the, that's the reality. Romans chapter 1 talks about that, that what human beings do is that they want their sin. And because they want their sin, then they will suppress the truth in unrighteousness because they don't want to know the truth. And that's why abolitionists particularly are, you know, as my, my friend uh, uh, Stephen Thompson says, a stone. You're like a stone in their shoe. Man, we're like, we're like a yellow jacket underneath their shirt. We're just stinging them. The truth just stings and it hurts. And so they want to shut you up and they want to call you names and they want to say all kinds of manner of evil against you. But we are the voice of those who have no voice. We are the voice of, of innocent little babies that don't have the opportunity to protect themselves like full-grown men do. I mean, that guy probably has a gun. God bless you. He can protect themselves, but who's going to protect the babies? Well, I'll tell you what, full-grown men need to protect these babies. And that's what we are here to do as abolitionists. 
I have um, brothers and sisters alongside of me. We're not incrementalists. We're not for the regulation of abortion. We are for the absolute unequivocal abolishment of abortion, equal justice, equal protection under the law for all human beings. And that little zygote, that little fertilized egg is a human life. What other life is it? It's alive, right? Let's use logic, which most people don't know how to use. Is that little zygote alive? Yes. Is that little zygote a human being? Is it a dog? No. Is it a cat? No. Is it a monkey? No. So it's a living human being inside of that woman. And when you end the life of a living human being, it is murder. Only God has the right and authority to take somebody's life. And God has ordained the state to use the sword to execute people who have broken God's law. The state's purpose is only to wield the sword of what is right and what is wrong determined by God's law, not by determined by the um, arbitrary whims of a legislature or the arbitrary whims of a democracy. God's law transcends that and it is absolute whether the legislature votes one way or whether the, the, in democracy they vote another way, God's law transcends that. So that murder of innocent human beings is sin before God. But it is sin that can be forgiven, and that's what my sign says. Abortion is murder, but forgiveness can be found in Christ alone. So we are preaching the law of God. We're preaching the law of God. But in preaching the law of God, we bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Abortion is not the unpardonable sin. You can be forgiven of the sin of abortion, but we must come to God and confess our sins. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I got some kids here. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to talk to them. What do you think? Yeah, that was a baby that was aborted. This one too. This one too. And these are graphic signs, man. I, I mean, the, these are really rough signs. This little, you can see the face, the nose, the arms. But that's what happens in these places. It doesn't matter whether you take a pill. So what happens? They're going to teach you in school, right? You get a girl pregnant, you get pregnant, that, um, you know, it's okay to abort. It's not okay. Because God's law says all human beings, you are created in the image of God, right? And so they, in Planned Parenthood, they hand out pills. They hand out pills. And the, what the pill does is it actually kills little babies. That's what this sign is all about. You see, terminating a, uh, taking a pill to terminate a pregnancy is murder with malice aforethought. So when a young lady gets pregnant and she takes a pill and she has a baby, it doesn't matter if it's newly conceived or whatever, if that baby dies, she's murdered that child. And if, if a man is like, you need to do that or else I'm going to beat you, then he's participating in murder. So I'm here standing up for little innocent babies because nobody, they can't talk for themselves. You guys Christians? No, why not? I mean, I'm not Christian, so I just, I believe in God. Though. Yeah, but the Bible says to believe in Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is God's son. And it's only through Jesus Christ that we could have our sins forgiven. Right? You know, you, you've all done bad things, right? Well, I've lied. Have you ever lied? No, you never lied? You, no, now you're lying, right? Yeah, we've all lied. We've all stolen. We've stolen things. We've dishonored our mom and dad. And the Bible says that if we sin before God, we're going to go to hell. But if we believe in Jesus Christ, we believe that Jesus died on behalf of our sins. He was innocent and we're guilty. And so he says, like, he says, listen, what's your name? What is it? Jay. Jay? So, so Jesus says, I'm going to die in Jay's place. And so Jesus went to the cross totally innocent and died for your sins before God. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, God will forgive you based upon what Jesus Christ has done. It's a powerful thing. And so you, what you do is you trust in Jesus to forgive your sins. And that's the only way that we can be made right with God is, is through Jesus. And yeah, you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you guys. So trust in Christ, all right? All right, God bless you. Thanks for listening. There we go. Got to talk to some young men. 
put them on the right path. I pray, I pray, dear Holy Spirit, that those young men, for as feeble and as, as faulty as my presentation of the gospel was, I pray that your spirit would penetrate their hearts and that they would come to know Jesus Christ. I pray that the images of the babies being slaughtered would move in their hearts and that they would know that they're sinners before God and that they would come to Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins. You know, these, 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 these little, uh, in the name of Jesus I pray, these little, these young men had more respect, more thought than the gray-haired man that went by and the fools that are going into this place, the murders that are going into this place. So maybe this is why God brought me here, is just to uh, talk to these young men. And I praise God for that. So pray for them. Jay was his name. I didn't ask them the rest of their names. All right, I got to go home. Um, I pray that God was glorified here today. I pray that I was able to save some babies. I pray that the Spirit of God would use me to um, save souls by the preaching of His Word. Um, and I thank you all for, uh, who, for listening, whoever's listening and watching. God bless you. And abortion must be abolished. God bless you.